uh, you know, dropping the same thing to Harsh again. Uh, PK mentioned about the robust domestic circuit that we had in 60s, 70s. What has changed during the time that you played, or maybe the times that Somdev and others are playing, and now with Yuki and all, you know, grinding it out here in the circuit as well as the challenges? What has changed from that time? Yeah, no, I I think that uh, you know PK Uncle makes some very good points, and and one is. you know the system versus the individual and i think that we have put far too much too much onus on the individual player to make it and uh, i i i do want to make a point that i myself and my peers that i played with in terms of our effort and in terms of our commitment in terms of our desire we were right up there with all the players at the highest level including leander pays and and you know uh, the top players but i think the 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 problem that i faced was that after i finished junior tennis and you know i, I was the number one in the country at the time joy uh in terms of what do i do next uh and that's a very unfortunate feeling when your top talent in the country is ready to make a transition to the highest level and they are feeling uh, a void as to where is the opportunity where do i play where do i train how do i become a professional tennis player basic questions were there and there was no real opportunity uh, uh, where would i train in bombay where were the professional tennis players to train with there weren't any uh, there was no academy where would i play tournaments you know uh, and and okay if i have one or two tournaments in india then i have to go abroad to europe to the us how do i how do i even afford that you know to ask an indian family to come up with the types of funds that you need to play professional tennis is is not a is not a reasonable ask yeah. except for maybe 0.1% of our population by the way in not just india globally I, i live in the us even in the us to afford a, a to afford your to send your child to for professional tennis is beyond the the reach of most families mm. so uh, so it's you know uh, so it's very difficult and you you literally did not have an opportunity you know opportunity is a big word uh, in uh, i feel when there is opportunity people will try and i didn't see opportunity so so the best option was to go to college in america and that was fantastic that allowed me to continue my dream in tennis it gave me a structure it gave me great competition i had coaching i had all the pieces that i needed to become a better tennis player but where was the indian system you know it was largely absent and then after putting in a, a you know a lot of effort and a very good us college system i was able to develop then i got opportunities to play and that is the story of most players you know uh, my peers so i think we have to look at the system because if we start putting too much onus on individuals you know maybe one family can do it maybe another family can do it maybe a certain player you know through their resources connections maybe through good fortune you know there there some opportunities may come their way but the system is not there to take uh, your talent pool and to develop them and this is there when you yeah. when you look at european countries you look at the countries that are producing players not just individuals they are producing a pipeline of players over and over and over again they have a system of nurturing and developing their talent which we have in cricket but we do not have that in tennis we haven't had that since my uh, days are uh, 1990s early 2000s and i don't feel we have that even today you know that is the yes. fact now the question is what can we do what can we improve and mm. uh, you know i always like to look at things positively but it's a very tall ask to ask an individual athlete or a family mm. to you know take their athletic skills and put in all this effort and and figure it out somehow how are they going to figure it out <laughs> you yeah. know uh, it's it's way too difficult yeah. uh, to to yeah. to do that yes yeah. pkb if you so want I, quickly i'll just add an example of Uh, Yuki Bhamri, right? Yuki Bhamri, at the age of sixteen and a half, won the Australian Open juniors singles, right? Now, that's right. Uh, it was twelve years ago, uh, and in the period since then, he has played more than nine months in a year on, you know, without injury, only once, 
only once in those 12 years has he lasted a full year on tour okay so that's one problem but the other problem you see now his elder sister ankita was almost on par with sanya when they were coming up sanya standard they were similar age just 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 you know as juniors they were competing against each other there was also isha lakhani there were three of them and they were really competitive mm. side that they would focus on the third kid yuki second kid sana sana bhambri made the french open junior doubles semi finals in partnership with sanya mirza when she was 15 sana was 15 and she made the semi finals of the french open doubles junior okay so they sacrificed all that and focused on yuki and yuki's problem has been injuries uh, so you know i think that you know first of all that's one the other side is that perhaps yuki probably spent too much time at boletieris he spent a hell of a lot of time focusing on boletieris now given that at the age of 16 and a half he was already uh, australian open junior singles champion you know that was a time when someone should have you know some corporate should have stepped up and said hey we've got a slam junior champion who's 16 and a half let's get behind this guy and aita i mean the uh, aita sure. should have got uh, gotten onto the case they didn't bother you know the trouble with indian uh, tennis administration is that as harsh now the magi amritra put all the effort to make it happen uh and you know, harsh had his mom i mean you know so unfortunately you if you're going to depend on the individual and the family still there for aita if would be on the family you know i talked about him if all the time you're talking about doing it then why what's the where's the system you know there's the problem with india is that the system is non existent and this is up to address and you know hopefully for daily can begin to address hmm. great great inputs pkb on that